This is All India Radio. The news read by Gaurav Dhawan Lal. The government has constituted a task force chaired by Rural Development Minister Jairam Ramesh and co-chaired by Tribal Affairs Minister Kishor Chandra Deo to work on land reform issues. The setting up of the task force is a part of an agreement signed last week between the government and Jan Satyagraha activists who fought for a national land reforms policy. The leader of the movement PV Rajagopal Trinamool Congress MP D Bandhopadhyay Planning Commission member Mihir Shah B N Yugandar Aruna Roy Praveen Jha Bina Agrawal and Vidhay Upadhyay are the members of the task force The first formal meeting of the task force will be held on the 16th of November Three CRPF troopers were killed and over six others injured when Naxalites triggered an improvised explosive device IED blast, blowing an anti-landmine vehicle in Bihar's Kaya district today. The condition of the three injured Jawans is serious and they have been rushed to Patna for treatment. The incident occurred early this morning near the Chakarbanda forest in Barha village of the district when the CRPF vehicle was going for an operational duty. DIG Kaya said six CRPF teams were on combing operations in the area. between Gaya and Aurangabad when this mishap occurred with one of the teams the supreme court has asked the center to ensure that domestic lpg cylinders are checked for their actual weight at the customer's doorstep to avoid any malpractice resorted to by a dealer the apex court directive followed an undertaking from the petroleum and natural gas ministry that instructions will be issued to all oil companies to ensure that the distributor's delivery man carries weighing equipment and the cylinder is delivered to the customer after recording the actual weight of the gas a bench of justices G. S. Singhvi and S. J. Mukhopadhyay directed the authorities to carry advertisements on Doordarshan and other electronic media to create awareness about the consumer's right to measure the weight. The comprehensive cleft care center in Guwahati has achieved success in cleft and palate repair surgeries in collaboration with the National Rural Health Mission and Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan Mission. Speaking to AIR, the communication officer of the center, Dipul Malakar said that it has become the first center in the country to conduct 4000 surgeries. Opened in May last year at the MMC Hospital premises, the center has achieved the success with the help of Operation Smile, the Assam government the National Rural Health Mission and the Tata Trust The festival of Eid ul-Adha or Bakrid will be celebrated on the 27th of October as the moon of the last month of the Islamic calendar Zilhijjah was seen on Wednesday 17th October. This was announced by the Markazi Chand Committee in Lucknow. The AIR correspondent reports from Lucknow that the festival of Eid ul-Adha is celebrated on the 10th day of the Islamic month Zilhijjah. This festival coincides with the Hajj pilgrimage in Mecca. On Eid ul-Adha, a special dua or prayer is recited by Muslims all over the world for peace and prosperity. IPL winners Kolkata Knight Riders were knocked out of the Champions League 2020 cricket tournament after their must-win Group A match against the Perth Scorchers was called off due to rain in Durban, South Africa last night. Earlier in the other Group A match, Titans defeated Auckland Aces by 59 runs at the same venue. In today's Group B fixtures, Highveld Lions will clash with Sydney Sixers at 5 p.m. IST, while Mumbai Indians will take on York Yorkshire at 9 p.m. Both matches will be played at Newlands in Cape Town. And that is the end of this news bulletin.